How's it going guys? My name is CJP and welcome back to another NBA 2K23 My NBA Rebuild where we've got the Miami Heat. I would say it the way that the announcer says it, but it's going to be embarrassing to try to do so. Uh, well, not embarrassing. I just, it'll just be completely wrong. Uh, but either way, well, we're going to get into the Heat. Before you do though, leave a like, subscribe, and join the content. Let me know down in the comments below some more video videos. Go to Souls down in the description. Play those down below for other NBA 2K23 My NBA Rebuilds. Also check out our channel for the TJP. We've got our second channel down in the description as well too. And yeah, same rules as applied, and we'll continue to apply. Well, we'll get three more rebuilds after this, but, you know, three seasons trying to win enemy finals. We're just here to have some fun. Not meant to be realistic. We'll see how we can do with the Heat. See if we can get to NBA finals. Let's go on the gameplay. Here we are in the game. We've got the roster to show you. We've got a Jimmy Butler. Look at that. Jimmy Butler's here. We've got Bam Adebayo, uh, Tyler Hero, Kyle Lowry. We've got Victor Ladebo, Sore right in one or two weeks. Caleb Martin, Max Schroes, Dwayne Dedman, Gabe Vincent. Duncan Robinson, Omer, you're at seven, sore right ankle. Uh, Nikola Jovic, Udonis Haslam, uh, Haywood Highsmith, Jamal Kane, Drew Smith. So we have, a, some, we have some interesting pieces here. I definitely think maybe moving on from Duncan Robinson is something we might want to end up doing. Uh, I definitely want to get a better power forward as well. So we'll see what we want to do there. Uh, has him, I assume, is going to retire. So we'll let him retire Heat. I'm not going to trade him just because I'm not going to do that. Kyle Lowry, he might be a guy we might move, potentially. Yeah, yeah I might want to get a better point guard. Uh, he's 36 years old, and he's got two years left on his deal. So we might look to try to upgrade a point guard at some point, too. I'm going to see if I can try to move on from Duncan Robinson now. We don't have a lot of picks, so I, I don't think we do at least, right? Yeah, we don't. We don't have our pick in 2023. Backup. 2025, we don't have a protection backup. Then we have this pick, which can't trade because of the sniping rule. So we really don't have a lot of assets. I'm going to see what I can try to get for Duncan Robinson. Maybe just like a different player. I might do this here with the Clippers. We're going to give up Duncan Robinson, Haywood Highsmith, and the second round pick. We might have Luke Kennard. So we get another shooting guard back, uh, which I'm not opposed to that, as well as a trade exception. So let's shed a little bit of money there. Not too much, but... Uh, yeah, now we have three shooting guards, three small forwards, and uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we need to do another power forward. I could move like Dwayne Dedman for a power forward potentially, so we'll see what's out there for him. All right, I didn't really like any of the moves. You know, we're just going to keep the team the way it is for now, and maybe we'll look to make a move at the deadline, uh, especially when we have a few of our guys healthy and back into action. So I don't know how this team's going to do in the sim. Uh, I feel like the Heat have had some decent years in the simulation, so we'll see if they can... Uh, have a good year this year. So I'm going to simulate a bit uh, and see. Oh, I was about to say, when did we start in November? I didn't even know I scrolled down. I'll see you guys like at the trade deadline. We're at the deadline and this team is actually really good. 42 and 13, but somehow that's only the second seed, interestingly enough. I'm actually curious to see who's better than us. If I had to take a guess, let's try to guess who would be better than us. I don't think it's Cleveland yet, right? I don't think it's Cleveland. If I had to say, it's probably the Sixers. Yep, got it right game back cleveland's there but it's not it, it, first season they're usually not there but like yeah six are usually good the bulls are good, a shout uh sticking the celtics as well but yeah they're 32 23 okay but hey we're only a game back so the team's playing really well let's take a look at the stats here who's carrying the squad tyler hero has the most points 22.7 points jimmy butler fractured left leg two to four months out uh, that's unfortunate at least he got hurt this around this time so he should be back by like march because usually that's lenient. They're leaning on the injuries. So hopefully we'll get him back by playoff time, though. And Bam Adebayo. So we had three guys out 22 points a game. And then six guys averaging double figures. So the team is playing well. I'm not going to make any moves, I guess. We'll just keep the team the way it is. But it's kind of unfortunate, though, that uh, we don't have Jimmy Butler now for a bit of time. Uh, but, I mean, unless maybe we could try to get somebody. Um, Bam Adebayo, lead my team in rebounds. Then Dedman, you're at seven. Uh, I think we signed... Who did we sign? Did we sign Gabriel Deck? I think we did. Because we needed to sign somebody. For... Because it was giving me, like, an error... An issue with, like, the thing. Uh, the thing is in, like, the roster management. You had, you, we had, like, under 14 people. Uh, Kyle Lowry. Then Jimmy Butler, v uh, Victor Ladipo, And Bam Bayou. Uh, Steals. Jimmy Butler's 2.2. And dude was, dude was balling out. 
1.8 steals for Bam and Bio. He's been really good, too, on defense. And then Kyle Lowry and Caleb Martin. So four guys averaging above one steal a game. And then we've got two guys averaging above a block a game, being our centers, obviously. And then we got our field goal percentage leaders. Yo, but only played seven games, which is crazy. Uh, he's so young. Maybe we move him if he has some value. Uh, we'll see. But uh, I do want to... I, I think I not... I, well, I guess we have Oladipo, so he can kind of fill in at the small forward, right? But I wouldn't mind trying to get another player if we can. Uh, Luke Kennard is my best three-pointer. Then Hero, Shrews. We got a lot of guys that can space the floor. But then also a lot of guys that can't space the floor either. So that's... That's something. I mean, I guess Victor Oladipo can play the starting small forward until Jimmy Butler comes back. So it's not the end of the world. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I guess we can look to see if there's a potential trade uh, piece that we could do. Maybe one of these guys gave bits. It's not really getting minutes. So has he played this year? He's played a little bit. Maybe we try to move him, try to get somebody else. I'm uh, going to see what's out there in the trade market and, you know, see if we can add another rotational piece. See, I kind of want to do see with the Suns because then I get a first round pick in 2025 if I give up Gabe Vincent and Dwayne Devin in a second rounder. I feel like I get Cameron Payne a lot, but you know what? For the first, It's really for the first rounders, so I'm going to do that. And then I guess we'll just sign like a free agent. Uh, so let's take a look at the roster. Um, and take a look at the rotations. So... I think Cameron Payne's going to get some minutes. That's nice. Okay, yeah, I'm going to try to sign a couple guys uh, in free agency just to round out the team. Because uh, we have three point guards, three shooting guards, small forwards, power forwards, and centers. But they're in the G League. I think I can maybe sign, like, one guy, and it will be okay. Uh, so, whatever guy is out there, I'm going to pick him up. Contracts, free agents. He was out there to pick up for the rest of the season. I wouldn't mind Carmelo Anthony if I could afford him. No trade clause? Ah, uh, you bastard. You didn't want to come here. I could get... I can get Canner. Freedom. Ennis Freedom. Ennis, Ennis Freedom. Enis Freedom. Marcus Aldridge is out here. Uh, what would I need? I could need Dave Nawaba. Oh, Carmel, I want to... Oh, that's why. You, uh, Eric Pascal wouldn't be too bad, honestly. If, uh, like, $4 million deal. We got him. That's a pretty solid pickup. And then we get a small forward like uh, PJ Dozier on a minimum. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's pretty That's pretty good. I'll take that. Extra rotational pieces. So, yeah. Hopefully, Jimmy Butler comes back. We got some guys to fill in in the event of more injuries throughout the season. But, again, I mean, 42 and 13 is a good record. So, hopefully, we'll end up one of the top teams in the Eastern Conference. So we got a Luka Doncic winning in the MVP. Paul Bancara, Rookie of the Year. Sixth Man of the Year, Andre Drummond. Defensive of the Year, Giannis. Most proved, Cade Cunningham. Coach of the Year was Eric Spolstra, our coach. 60-22. and 22, And we were the number one seed in the Eastern Conference. So that's awesome to see. Lucas Jeffries, our executive, I guess. So cool to see there. Any heat on any of these teams? Miami. He... I did it. Okay, I did it, and it was terrible. Bam and Bio. Uh, all NBA third team, 22 points a game, 12 and a half rebounds, nearly five assists, almost two steals on a block and a half game. On uh, yeah, pretty good from the field, uh, decent three, 30.6, 31%, about 80% from the line. Great year from Bam, and he was also all defensive first team, which makes sense. And then uh, all defense second, and uh, oh, we do have rookies this year, yay! Yeah, we have actually have a rookie team. Let's go. So we were, like I said, the number one seed in the Easter Conference, 60 and 22. Let's take a look at the roster in terms of stats. Uh, is Jimmy Butler still hurt? He is back. He is back. So that's that's good to see. Uh, scoring wise, in 49 games he led the team, but uh, Tyler Hero, I guess he played more games. So did Bam. They were they were up there. They had Victor Oladipo kind of filling in, did a good job. Cameron Payne. Max Drews, and then Kyle Lowry. So, seven guys. Uh, I guess, you know, it's kind of tough there with uh, Jimmy because he played only 49 games. But, yeah, he was still pretty good, though. Caleb Martin only picked one as well. So, yeah, as long as you can stay healthy, I think this team can be pretty good. Rebounding-wise, Bam led the way. The 69 games for year seven. Again, how many times are any 69? 69. 69 in all my videos. Like, it's, it's crazy. I should make a TJP 69 compilation in my videos. Look at that. I already see another one. Kyle Lowry, Jimmy Butler, 6.9 assists. 
6.9 assists. It's, I, uh, I don't even understand it, man. Steals, Jimmy Butler uh, in 49 games. We had Bam, Kyle Lowry, Kevin Martin. I only played 51, though, actually. Uh, then block leaders, you guys can see. My big men. Uh, and then we had our field goal percentage leaders. I'm going to scroll over a little bit. Yeah, Jovic didn't really play a lot. He played an extra game since I we last saw him. So I don't know what we want to do about him, if we want to keep him around or not. We'll see. Uh, Three-point percentage, as you can see. Yeah, I don't know. It kind of depends on his development, I guess. But yeah, here's the rotation in the playoffs. It's going to be like this. Should be okay. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to simulate the play-in. Get rested up. Take on the Brooklyn Nets in the first round. They have an interesting first round team. I mean, they could be a tough out. You know, they have the, these, these guys. And uh, future Houston Rocket, Kyrie Irving. Um... Well, I don't know. Either that or the Jazz or the Pistons. I feel like he goes there a lot, too. Um, but we'll see. Maybe he'll resign with the Nets. All right. Game one. We take the victory by 41 points. Like to see that. Game two. We even it up. Game three, we win by 20 points. Can we win game four? They win game four by 13. It's a 2 2 series. Best of three. And we are down 3 2. Don't lose in six. Don't lose in seven either, but guys, 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 we can't be first rounded. Surely not. Surely not, 2K. All right, get off to a good start. Not the best first quarter. An embarrassingly bad second quarter, and we're getting blown out. Can we come back? Nope. Terrible game. Wow, embarrassing. 60 win team and lost to a playing team. That's not good, guys. That's bad. Very, very bad. I mean, I guess the Nets almost got to the finals so i guess maybe it's not that bad i mean they have a talented team they're a top eight seed pelicans win the finals zion was the finals mvp but yeah a little bit of a disappointing end to the season we just were not very good uh six games who did their thing out there in the playoffs let's say or rather who didn't do their thing um kyle lowry yeah we might have to move him we might have to move him he wasn't very efficient yeah, he's getting up there in age. We might look to move him in the offseason. All right. Well, we got we got some work to do. Let's uh, see what we could do in uh, free agency and the draft. Well, we don't have a draft pick, but, you know, we'll see if we try to trade, make a trade for something. Okay, I traded away Kyle Lowry, Cole Jovich, Caleb Martin to the Houston Rockets. We got back Kevin Porter Jr., so a young point guard, as well as a future first-round pick, uh, which I think is like a Nets pick. So, shred, shed some money, get a little younger, and get a young, yeah, we get a younger point guard. So, definitely a risk. Uh, but yeah, Kevin Porter Jr. is on the team. So, cool stuff there. Um, we still have Luke Kennard. I'm wondering if I want to keep him around or not. So I'm going to see if maybe there's a trade out there for him. I'm going to send Luke Kennard to LA. We're going to get back a first round pick and a 2025 second round pick. So we're going to stack up a little bit on picks. In the event that I want to do a potential trade with the picks. Now we have these picks here. Um, I mean, I'm not going to make a trade now. I don't think. I mean, I guess we could get like Malik Monk and this guy. We get Dorian Finney-Smith and Jaden Hardy. That's not terrible. Um... Pick 12 from the Rockets, Nazir Little, and Gary Payton. Actually, that's not even that bad. Those are two solid rotational pieces, and Nazir Little is pretty young. So I could do that. That actually wouldn't be terrible with the Trailblazers. I mean, what if I did this? You have a counter. Oh, I don't want to give you a pick. Is that all I... Can you give me like a second rounder? Okay, that's fine. All right, we get, at least we get a second rounder in return. Probably didn't need to do that, but you know, we get two solid rotational pieces for the price of Luke Kennard. And I wasn't gonna use those picks anyway, so I think that's fine. I think that's fine that I did that. Um, Victor Oladipo declined his player option campaign. We'll accept it. We'll accept his team, why not? Um, 
since like who else am I gonna get out there, right? We're married seven, we'll extend him a con uh, contract. Gabriel Deck, sure. You know, we'll give him one too, why not? I don't know why he has a qualifier, but he does. Uh, I guess we need to sign a power forward, so that's kind of the priority in terms of uh, middle of the road guys. So I guess we'll see who's out there in free agency and uh, try to add to the team. Team, so Jimmy Butler, we still got him. We've got Tyler Hero, Bam Adebayo, Kevin Porter Jr., Victor Oladipo, we were able to get him back. We got Nazir Little, obviously you saw that trade. Obviously, we accepted the Cameron Payne's team option. Gary Payton, second. Got your seven back in the qualifier. Resigned Max Shrews. Aaron Holiday picked him up. Picked up for Michael Green. Derek Favors. Gabriel Deck got him back. And Thaddeus Young. So we really don't have a quality power forward still. But, you know, as long as the team's in it healthy. I mean, we won 60 games last year. I would assume we could probably win close to that. As long as we make the playoffs and get out of the first round. I think that's where the progression begins can we get past the first round so let's find out start the second season the rotation is going to be kevin porter jr tyler harrow jimmy butler thaddeus young and bam at bio we got victor oladipo coming off the bench with nasser little gary payton the second cameron Payne. yeah nine man rotation still got eric spilcher as the coach we have a really good coach so our system's gonna be great and uh that is the rest of the rotation here so we'll see how this team could do uh, I'm not going to make any moves right now. Maybe we'll look at the deadline to try to do something. But for now, I'm going to keep the team the way it is. All right, well, the team is sitting at 37-19. So not as good as last year, but still pretty solid. And the Cavs are the number one seed this year. Currently a game back from them. We're playing really well. Uh, so let's take a look at the stats here. See how the team's doing. Uh, we do have an injury to Tyler Hero. Broken left leg one, two weeks. He should be back soon, though. But, uh... You know, he's been a leading scorer. Then Jimmy Butler, not too far behind. Bam, Bam, Bam doing his thing out there. Kevin Porter Jr., solid pickup. He's actually been playing pretty well. Cameron Payne off the bench has been good, too. Uh, Nola Depot, torn right ligament in his elbow. Uh, so, yeah, the team seems to be okay. Your 7 is triggered. He's only played 24 games. I don't know if that's the reason he's triggered, but... Uh, who's Agro? Ah, my favorite. Agro. Agro. Ugh, love that. Okay, Pam Adebayo leading the team in rebounding, then year 7, Jimmy Butler, and Daddy's Young. Assists, Kevin Porter Jr., 6.4, 5.7 for Butler, 4.9 for Hero, and then 4.7 for Bam and Cameron Payne. In terms of steals, we got five guys averaging at least a steal a game. Block shots, Bam's leading the way, then we got Daddy's Young, Nazir Little in 23 games. You know, they're both aggro, which is kind of annoying. Uh, field goal percentage, you're at 7, but he's only played 24 games. I might try to see if we can try to acquire another piece since, uh, oh wow, Struess hasn't even been that good either. So, all right, maybe we can make a couple different trades here to try to improve our bench a little bit, even though it's been, we've been pretty solid. But if we can try to get some different players, and especially if Struess is struggling a bit, try to get a better backup shooting guard, like third string shooting guard, or maybe he's better than Gary Payton uh, than a better second straight shooting guard I mean I guess Gary Payton's here for defense but he's actually been efficient so I can't complain about that except it's free throw shooting it's pretty bad so uh let's see if I can try to find a couple moves here all right I think I'm gonna do this with the Timberwolves we're gonna get uh JD McDaniels and Jordan McLaughlin for Nasir Little and then uh Omer at seven so we get a uh better small forward I guess uh another rotational piece I'm gonna try to make one more trade now uh, it's probably going to involve Struess and Deck. Mavericks, we're going to give up Gabriel Deck, Max Struess, and a second round pick. We're going to give up Patrick Beverly. Um, I guess we'll bring him in for some some defense off the bench. And then Tyler Cook as well uh, for Deck, who's not even playing. And then Struess, who's kind of out of the bad year. So I think that might be it. Uh, I just want to double check the roster. So we got four point guards, two shooting guards right now, uh, three small forwards, three power forwards, and two centers. I could probably pick up another center in free agency or no actually i don't think i can yeah no i can't yeah do that we have 15 guys i think on the roster so that's fine uh let's just adjust the rotation that's gonna, that's gonna be for now until we get back uh tyler hero in a few days also victor over depot so yeah i feel like this team could be pretty good again hopefully we can do better in the playoffs though Another luka Doncic mvp not a surprise victor mamanyama rookie of the year six man of the year darren fox Oh, yeah, right. He's on the Warriors. I forgot about that. Uh, Giannis was defense player of the year once again. Most proved Keegan Murray. Coach of the year, Taylor Jenkins. And executive was John Murphy. 
Uh, any NBA first team appearances for your Heat? No, and not on the second team. But on the third team, we've got Bam Adebayo once again, averaging a double double. Good all around numbers. Three point shooting went down a little bit this year. Actually, all his shooting splits went down. Even all of his numbers went down. Uh, that's fine. He still had a good year. Can't complain about it. So good job, Bam. Uh, rookie, or no, this defensive team. All defensive second team. Bam. Chet was all defensive first team in his second season. Impressive in and itself. Uh, dude, three blocks a game. My guy. My guy. On a severe right ankle sprain. My guy. Um, other than that, no other heat here. So, were we the one seed or the two seed? We were the one seed again. 52 and 30 this year, though. So, once again, getting the number one seed. Uh, which is uh, pretty cool. So it's two straight seasons of getting the number one seed. Now the question is, will we perform as a number one seed this year in the playoffs? That is the question. Uh, we seem to have everybody healthy right now. Jimmy Butler led the team in scoring. Then Tyler Hero, Bam Adebayo, Kevin Porter Jr., pretty solid. Cameron Payne, Victor Oladipo. We have about six guys average double figures, so that's cool to see. And um, do we have anybody? In no oh, I saw Annoyed, Jordan McLaughlin, and a salty Jaden McDaniels. Love that. Uh, rebounds per game, bam, 11.7. Then it kind of dips after that. Facilitation-wise, Kevin Porter Jr., 6.4. Jimmy Butler with a 5.8, 5.3 for Patrick Beverly. Uh, uh, steals, we had seven guys. I guess you want to count Jordan McLaughlin, 55 games. Uh, and then in terms of block shots, we've got uh, bam, Beverly, McDaniels. That's cool to see. And here's your leading field goal percentage. Or just go down the list. You guys can take a look. And then three point percentage. Flip it back up and go the other way. So you guys can take a look at that and see. So the team team was pretty good. Again, the question is how are we going to do in the playoffs and who we're taking on in the playoffs? Because we're obviously on the winner of the play in. And it's going to be the Sixers. That's a tough one again. That is another tough playing team. Very tough playing team. Uh, I guess they added Kleber. Oh, Maxi Kleber. I love saying it like that. Um, okay, so they have an interesting team. Pretty much the same, though. They could beat us. They definitely can. It's a two tough eight seeds, by the way. They did beat us in game one. Uh, we beat them in game two. Can we beat them in game three? They beat us in game three. Can we beat them in game four? No, we can't. We're down 3 1, and we're probably going to lose in five because I know 2K. I know 2K, man. They don't like me. Uh, Butler's also hurt, so that's great. So, can we come back down for three one lead? That is the question. That is the question. Uh, we are the home team, so it'd be great if we can get a win here. Great second quarter. Needed that. We need to have a good third quarter, which we do. And it looks like we're going to force... No, we're not. We blew... We blew the game. Ladies and gentlemen... What an embarrassing fourth quarter for the Heat. So two straight seasons of getting the first seed and getting eliminated in the first round to a play-in team. Now, granted, it's the Sixers. We had the Sixers and the and the, the, the Nets and the Sixers, which are tough teams. But it's like, come on, guys. Now next year, we're barely going to make the play-in. We probably should just go for the play-in. Who knows? Maybe we'll be lucky and be one of those number one seeds. Boston wins the finals. Tatum finals MVP over the Mavericks. We got one more year. Uh, so we're going to have to take a look at the stats before I forget. I almost forgot. Sometimes I forget that. You guys know that. For those that are not new. Uh, Oladipo wasn't very good efficiency-wise. Jimmy Butler had a terrible playoff. But he also was hurt. But he hurt, like, some of the games. So I guess that kind of makes sense. Um... But yeah, all right, we got one more year. Let's we'll see if we can try to get back to the playoffs again and hopefully this year get out of the first round. All right, so we have, a, we have our pick, which is pick 28. I don't think we can trade that. So we'll probably just draft like a rookie at that position. Uh, I don't know if we have any other draft picks to trade besides that, unless I have a pick here in 2028 that I could trade. No, I have the Nets pick, which I can't trade. And I can't trade that. I can trade a second round. I can trade my second rounders. That's it. Uh, any players that we might want to move? Jimmy Butler, what can I get for you? Nothing. Tyler Hero, what can I get for you? Pick two. Donovan Mitchell. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to trade you, I don't think. But I'm just curious what I can get. Porzingis. Yeah, 
Anthony Simons, Jordan Poole in a second. I could have got Anthony Simons and Damian Lillard, but I didn't want to trade down uh, Tyler Hero. <sighs> Just curious to see what I can get here. Okay. Pick two and pick 19. Maybe if I was doing like a 80-year rebuild, I'd do that, but I'm not doing an 80-year rebuild. So that is that. That is that. Okay, I guess... Um, Ooh, you know what? That would be a terrible chat. That would be an interesting idea to do it to an 80 year rebuild. That's not a horrible video idea. And we just do like two seasons of video. That'd be interesting. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you guys want to see that on the second channel? That would be interesting. Okay. Anyways, um, let's uh, let's see if we try to muster up a trade here. All right. I'm gonna trade up. With the Thunder, we're also going to get Darius Baisley for Victor Oladipo, Patrick Beverly, Aaron Holiday, and a second round pick. We're going to have pick 10 as well as pick 28. So we'll have two draft picks. Uh, so that's an interesting move there for us. All right, I'm going to sim to pick 10. We're going to take a prospect here. Um, who do I want to go with? Mookie Cook. You know, Day Mara is not a bad option. I feel like he is usually pretty good so i i think i'm gonna take him i feel like he he'll contribute i don't know i could be wrong uh there's a few other guys here i think yeah i'm gonna go with the day mara why not all right let's take a risk here we're gonna go with this guy from france i don't know how to say his name five itch we'll just take him why not risk it for the biscuit so we'll sim to the end let's see uh, is this a real draft? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can even remember that. I don't know who this guy is. I guess he's... I know who this is. That's the secret weapon. Uh, okay. So we got a... Yeah, I mean, Mara's not a bad pick. And then we got, uh... This guy here. It's not awful. Okay. So that's... We'll take them. Gary Payton accepted his player option. Uh, so that's cool to see. Qualifiers. Yeah, we'll offer... McDaniels, Tyler Cook. Uh, I mean, sure, why not? Moratorium. So yeah, I'm gonna see what's out here. Ready to try to add a few mid-level guys, some in guys, and round out the team. All right. So at player progression, we've got Jimmy Butler, Tyler Hero, Bam Adebayo, Kevin Porter Jr. We traded for Darius Baisley. We got Jane McDaniels back on the qualifier. We got Cameron Payne back. Torian Prince. I picked him up. Drafted Mara, Gabe Vincent, we signed him. Uh, we got Gary Payton, who accepted the player option. I picked up Daniel Gallinari, Will Barton, Nicholas Batum, and we drafted this guy. Um, it, It's not bad. I mean, we've been this one seed two straight seasons and got bounced in the first round. I honestly don't know if I want to be the one seed this year. Maybe that's the cheat code. Let's not be the one seed, guys. We're just going to keep the team the way it is. Maybe we'll make a move at the deadline, but... Kevin Porter Jr., Tyler Hero, Jamie Butler, Darius Baisley, Bam Bayou. We got uh, McDaniels, Payne, the Prince, that is Torian, uh, a day, and then we got Gabe Vincent back. All right, 10 man rotation? No, this is 9 man rotation. I can't count. I, I mean, again, we've been pretty solid in the regular season, we've been a good regular season team. But the question is can we put it together in the playoffs and get past the first round? That is the question, so we're going to find out right now. And we're the 12th seed, so it looks like there is a chance we do not make the playoffs this year. I mean, 22 and 33 is not great. Uh, we've had some injuries, which has been the main issue. Tyler Harris having a great year, though. 27.7 points. Bam playing her sorry knee, broken right wrist for Jimmy Butler. Uh, Kevin Porter Jr. has missed some games here and there. Cameron Payne doing his thing out there. Jamie Daniels is triggered, and he also has a pinch of nerve in the back. So six guys average double figures. Tyler Harris trying to do his best here to score to what, almost 28 points a game. Um, which is uh, pretty good. So he's made a nice jump. Uh, Baisley doing his thing. He's always heated. Of course, we've missed some games. Um, all right. Yeah, we're probably going to have to try to make some moves here. Uh, Bam and Bayou, 11.1 uh, rebounds. Then we got Mara with 5.7. 5.5 for Butler. Here with 5.1 assist. KPJ, 6.5. Jimmy's got 6.4. Tyler here has got 6. Steals. We got 5 guys. Gary Payton's only played 30 games. Yeah, we got a lot of guys that are missing games. So, bam, with on 1.4 blocks. Okay. How about field goal percentage? 
as you guys see the leaders there will barton's played how many games three games so yeah i mean we're not trying to make a couple moves here we're gonna gotta get some uh, rotational pieces maybe try to gun for the play-in spot that's our best bet so let's see if we can try to make a couple moves here uh before simulating the rest of the year the warriors we got Derek livers for uh our rookie one of our rookies Ilamane, and then will barton and as well as a 2029 first round pick we get back livers and javon carter I'm going to do this thing with the Kings. We're going to go Gabe Vincent and Ade Mara, as well as the second round pick. We're going to get back Davion Mitchell and Montrez Harrell. All right, so I think I'm done making moves. So this is going to be the rotation for the rest of the season. So Davion Mitchell will be my new starting point guard. We'll have Kevin Porter be the sixth man. So we've got Mitchell, Hero, Prince, Batum, and Li uh, Livers. I guess until we get uh, Jimmy Butler back and Bam Bio, because they're hurt for a bit. So they'll obviously be starting, as well as McDaniels. He's hurt too. So we'll see what we decide to do. I guess he'll come off the bench, right? Yeah. I'm hoping we can make a plane. That's that's the goal for this season, it looks like. Unless we have an amazing post-All-Star break, then maybe we could potentially slip in to a uh, playoff spot. But I'm gunning for the plane. Health was not on our side in our third and final season. What are you going to do? John Moran, MVP. Caleb Foster, Rookie of the Year. Whitehead, Sixth Man of the Year. It's most of your most of Nick Smith. Coach of your Taylor Jenkins. I guess you have the Andrew panel. Here's your only first, second, and third. No heat to be seen here. Uh, yeah, no heat. Uh, any heat here? We got Bam. Making an all defensive second team again. Solid. Good defensive numbers. But yeah, kind of just unfortunate. Some guys getting injured at the wrong time, so we just were really we ended up being pretty bad. Uh, 14 seed missed out on the playoffs, so we got to the playoffs twice, first two seasons, and we're the number one seed, and then couldn't get out of the first round, and then we just had a bad year this year. Not much you could do about that, but it is unfortunate. Uh, also, too, I think if I look at the standings, yeah, 34 and 48. I mean, a lot of guy, a lot of teams are bunched up here, so you know. Maybe if we were a bit better in the second half of the year, we could have potentially got a six spot. But unfortunately, that was not the case as uh, we missed the playoffs, right? So player stats, curious to see. Yeah, you guys can see like the injuries uh, and Cameron Payne ended up getting hurt too as well. Uh, yeah, Tyler had a good season. Bam, Jimmy Butler, Kevin Porter Jr. Um... McDaniels missed, yeah, he missed like a lot of games. So yeah, definitely some guys, you know, missing some key pitiful games. Definitely played it, hurt, took a toll on us a little bit. Uh, just looking at the leaders in points and rebounds and assists. You guys can take a look at these. KPJ led the team in assists. You know, he played 73 games. Butler played 72, 75 for here. So yeah, you know, here and there we missed some games. So, you know, I think if we had a, a little bit better health, we would have been a bit better, especially in the post All Star break where we took some L's. But also in the beginning of the season, too, we got off to a pretty cold start. Uh, there's your block leaders right there. In terms of field goal percentage, we've got uh, Javon Carter, but he didn't play that many games for us anyway. He only played seven. And he was fed up. He was fed up. Uh, okay, yeah, then it was our centers. And three point shooting right here, in case you are curious to see. So yeah, unfortunately, could not get the job done third and final season to make the playoffs. But, you know, we built a decent team, just very bad in the playoffs. And then third and final year, again, unfortunately, injuries took a toll on us. And the Raptors beat the Grizzlies in the finals. That You know, you see that often. Uh, and the Raptors won the, well, Raptors won the championship and Fred Van Vliet was the finals MVP. I guess that's an interesting way to end this video. It kind of sums it up, everything that went on in this video, I guess. The Raptors are not usually the team that you would expect to see here, uh, at least in the sim. So I guess that being said, let's go to the full screen close of the video. All right, well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, let me know down in the comments below the video. Let's go to the social down description, a playlist down below containing other NBA 2K23 My NBA rebuilds. Also, check out my channel for the content with TJP. We've got our second channel down below in the description as well, in case you want to check that out too. And, um,. Yeah, we got three more teams. Uh, next team is going to be the Dallas Mavericks because they lost in the Western Conference Finals. And then we got our two heavy hitters, Celtics Warriors, to end it off. So three more teams, and then that's it for the normal team rebuilds. We got our fantasy draft and then our challenges. So if you have any challenge ideas, let me know down in the comments below. 
Also, our career sims. We'll do some career simulations, such as, you know, rookie sims, like Paul Bancaro, career sim, Chad Holmgren, career sim, Jabari Smith Jr., right? Even some upcoming rookies like Victor Romanyama, although I might use a different draft class. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, but that's for later down the line, a few weeks, a, a, a couple weeks. Like, more like mid-November near Thanksgiving. So a little bit before that, where you'll be seeing some more content like that. But with that being said, I'm going to head on out, though. Take care, see you soon, and peace.